Sedano, Taylor 2, post fight thoughts. Let's go. Push the weight in the flex. Flex. The live is one in the six. Hey. Hey. If it's the runner, boy, you nigga, no question. Yo. You ain't when a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Woo. Woo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Uh, 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 I mean, they woke up, drink blood, things out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe. Right. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. All right, Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. My post fight thoughts. Um, just right before the main event, so I'm just gonna get this out now. I, I'm more than likely be talking about it again. Um, once again, I feel they got the call wrong, and this is no disrespect to Katie Taylor. I just thought she lost the fight, man. Especially after round eight, there was a point deducted. Um. Look, man, first and foremost, let me say this. A great fight by both of these ladies. Um, they didn't have to find each other. They met in the middle of the ring and they slugged it out, man. Um, but it was a um it was a disciplined exchange every time. Sometimes Katie, who had the faster hands, um, sometimes she got the better of it. But when Amanda Serrano got the better of it, um, Katie felt it. Um Serrano could crack. Um this is why we need three minute rounds because I believe in round one, Amanda wasted no time. Cracked her, man. And she was in Boogie Wonderland. This is why we need three rounds, three minute rounds because she cracked her and it was like about 10 seconds left. I said, man, it should be a minute and 10 left and see what Katie Taylor could do with it, man. Stop babying these ladies, man. Equal rights deserve equal lefts. Whack, jack, smack. Let them do it. It's all good, man. Three minute rounds. Uh, this is ridiculous. Um, but on to the fight. Uh, I like to listen to um, the, uh, well, first and foremost, this is the first time I went to see what uh, um, Netflix was going to do as far as their, their announcement team. And they, it's, it, it's reminiscent of Showtime fused with a little bit of HBO. So it's not cringe. Um, the, the corner work of Katie Taylor, I did like what they said. They, he, he, there was a point where he said, you look, you, you're, you're getting uh, the better the exchanges, but you need to get out. You have a big ring. That ring, that's not a ring. That's like a half of, of the football field in there. It's a big ring. And Katie's corner said, you have a big ring. Use it. You don't have to get into these exchanges. Well, that went out the door because she got into those exchanges so at that point you know you can't if, if your fighter's not listening you know you're running the risk um round six i believe bad headbutt and uh amanda serrano got cut and i thought at one point i think that was round six if it wasn't round six please correct me um <clears throat> i think that um you know that that was the turning of the fight but katie taylor has a habit of leading with her head um, there's a few fights where she's head butted people, man. I mean, that's not Katie Taylor. That's Bonk's Adventures. You remember Bonk? Remember the video game Bonk? The, the little cave boy with the big head? His weapon was his head. You know, I mean, these were, you know, Chris Benoit headbutts that she was giving out, man. And um, it was blatant at that point. And the referee, man, although he took a point for holding, he was supposed to take a point for lead. This woman leading with her head. I mean, that was just ridiculous. But shout out to Amanda. Um, yeah, Amanda Serrano. She, um, absolute dog. Well, you know, I'm not going to drag Katie Taylor too much because she's tough herself. I just don't like her leading with the head. But Amanda Serrano, she could have, after the fourth round, um, I mean, they could have stopped it, you know, um, and went to the cars. But at this point, it don't matter because I feel especially with the point deduction, I feel that Amanda Serrano did enough to win the fight. Um, if you scored that round in round eight, if it was a 10-9 round for uh, Katie Taylor and you made it 9-9, fine. Me personally, I'm watching that round and I had a 10-9 for 
uh, uh, Amanda Serrano. So with the point deduction, it was a 10-8. But, you know, who am I? Um, Katie Taylor's a dirty fighter. She's a dirty fighter. And um, they have to go back to the drum board. Then I, I, we're going to see a third fight. There's, there's, there's a lot of appeal there. And um, <laughs> let me tell you, it was exciting, man. This was very exciting. Um, salute to both of them. But I just feel, I thought Amanda Serrano did enough to win the first fight, and I think she definitely did enough to win this fight. Uh, she controlled the ring generalship. She was walking Katie down the whole fight. Um, the exchanges, uh, although Katie Taylor had faster hands, I think that uh, Amanda Serrano was landing the more meaningful shots towards the end of the, most of those exchanges. And, you know, Katie was getting, she was getting her shots off also. Um, it was close. I just thought that Amanda Serrano did enough to win the fight. I'm going to end up watching it again. Um, but I think that ref didn't do enough. I think they should have had another point deducted for uh, leading with her head. And um, Amanda Serrano's power is, is for real. She put Katie Taylor on the back foot um, all night long. All night long, even with leading with her head. And there was, there was a, a couple of times two times in, in particular where Katie Taylor got the better of the exchange and it snapped uh, Amanda Serrano's head sideways. She kept coming. She kept coming, man. She kept coming. And I'm just so like, I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed with, with the outcome. I, I really am. I'm really annoyed with the outcome. I think that um, they got it wrong again. I really do. I really do think they got it wrong again. They didn't, that that's just ridiculous that's just ridiculous I, I i don't man tough loss man tough loss um i don't even think that this was a fight that could have gone either way um you want to call it a robbery you can you can call it a robbery i just don't think that katie taylor so uh, uh won the fight i'm gonna watch it again it's still fresh. I haven't rewatched it. Maybe I'll rewatch it and think something different. Maybe. I'm gonna watch it again. Uh, the main event's about to start in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, Katie, what I've learned, what I've solidified is that she's a dirty fighter. Um, they should have had another point deducted. Um uh with, with, for leading with her head. They they deducted a point, I think, for excessive holding. Um but that's disgusting, man. And um, Amanda wants to run it back a third time. Um, why not? Why not? And um, Amanda's definitely gonna go. She fought. She fought a discipline fight, but she's definitely gonna try and go for this knockout. And how to avoid the headbutts? You need to have a solid referee in there to watch for that. And um, I don't know, wear a football helmet or something. I mean, because this is ridiculous. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!